like them, she and her man, she lit, get money too, like them, she and her man, she and her man, like them, she and her man, she and her man. Good morning, Glam Squad. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Jamie. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Guess where I'm going? To the grocery store. Yet again. I feel like I ended my last vlog going to the grocery store. And now I'm going back. Let me roll up my windows. Why would I do my intro with the windows rolled down? That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, um, Tiana was sick in my, at the end of my last vlog. Um, that was just last night. I just ended that vlog last night. She is feeling a little bit better today, but she's um, not back 100%. Well, she said that she's okay, but like, I don't know. I kind of feel like she's still kind of sick. She ended up getting a little bit of a temp last night, but it wasn't like a fever, but it was like 100 degrees and a fever is technically 100.4. Hold on, I'm passing some bikers and I really don't want nobody to swerve over here to my lane like they're doing right now. If you're a biker and I'm a vehicle, why would you purposely swerve into my lane? That doesn't make any sense to me. And when I say biker, I mean on a bicycle. So anyway, she, um, it's doing a lot better today. We normally will be going to my sister's house for dinner, but I'll call her to see if she wants to postpone for tomorrow, which is Sunday. I don't think I even told y'all what day it is. Today's Saturday. Saturday morning is currently 10.30. So I would normally be going to my sister's house, but we're probably gonna do it tomorrow. I know my brother's gonna be pissed because he does not want to be interrupted during football. So, and he's the one that does all the cooking and stuff. So I was like, well, tell him he can cook today and then we'll just eat leftovers tomorrow if he doesn't mind and then you can come over after the game is over like it's not that big of a deal we can work around it and so today is probably just going to be like a work day for me i have to edit my last vlog so i can get that up for y'all because i'm realizing that it's been like two weeks since the last time i had a video go up i mean i've been doing shorts but other than shorts why are my windshield wipers still on there's no water it's literally sunny it's weird i don't have any bookings for glam you know the party rental my party rental business i don't have any bookings for glam this weekend which is really weird i usually have bookings every single weekend and especially like leading up to a holiday thanksgiving is this coming thursday but i did get a call today from like a customer who like has rented from me a bunch of times i just want to say that like i have some really amazing customers like i don't really know how i got so lucky or so blessed but I have really good customers but because he called me to see if I had anything available for Thanksgiving Day. And I was like, no, I'm sorry. I'm already booked for Thanksgiving. And instead of him being, like, upset or disappointed in the fact that, like, he wasn't going to be able to get his, um, his tables and chairs for Thanksgiving, he was like. Okay, I'm back from the grocery store. And also, my camera died on me while I was out, which is annoying because I purposely switched my battery out before I left because I had been vlogging all day yesterday. So I figured my battery is gonna be dying soon. And apparently I put a battery in that was dead or dying already. Cause I, I was only able to vlog for like five, 10 minutes and then my camera cut out on me mid-sentence. But anyway, um, before I get into the grocery haul, let me just finish saying what I was saying, just in case, because I don't even know when the camera cut off. But anyway, I was just saying that my customers, I'm really grateful for them. They're super supportive. Instead of my customer being disappointed that I wasn't gonna have the tables and chairs for him on Thanksgiving because I was booked up, he was happy about the fact that I was booked and he congratulated me. So anyway, shout out to you, you a real one. Okay, so I got her some saltine crackers that's to help settle her stomach she also really likes ritz crackers hi i was just talking about you how you feel really good i think you guys need to just walk around yeah i wish i could kiss you i can't kiss you oh i know they're back the answer back but we'll get into that in a minute Okay, I got her some Ensure because she hasn't really had much of an appetite. So this will help to make sure she gets some nutrients in even if she's not eating food. Um, she really likes Ritz cracker crackers. So I got her some Ritz crackers too. I also got some Pepto-Bismol to help settle her stomach. And some Canada Dry and some Gatorade. And that's to help with dehydration and stuff. 
oh yeah and then i also she doesn't really like um chicken noodle soup or those like traditional soups so i did get her like a pack of noodles i know she'll eat those what else so this is unrelated to her being sick i did get some cranberry canada dry this is for thanksgiving what is it winter winter spice cranberry sprite so got that i got i actually got two things of the cranberry ginger ale i realized we were out of our maggie chicken bullion so i got some of that and then i just got some chicken broth i usually use this in my dressing i didn't have any but i don't necessarily need this for my dressing i got it just more so just in case anyway in my last vlog i was showing y'all that we had an ant infestation in my kitchen and i'm trying to get rid of the ants before thanksgiving comes right i have put down the little ant bait stuff the, they had cleared out for a while and then this morning when i woke up they're back so i put down some more taro which is the stuff that i which is the ant bait so i put down some more taro but because they keep coming back it's got to be a nest right outside my house so when i came back from the grocery store huh where like over there point again over there Oh, I see her from here. Okay, so listen, here is a huge ant hill in my backyard. Y'all see that? I think that this is possibly the culprit. That is not dog poop, those are leaves. It looks like dog poop from here. But anyway, I don't know why I have, oh, I know I have leaves. My neighbor's tree is growing over my fence. Okay, still come in here act like a hood right? My dog likes to come outside and bark at the other dogs. I bark at any noise random noise that she hears okay so that's one but i honestly don't think that that's the culprit i came out here and i found this right by my house okay so this is the back of my house this is this is technically where my kitchen is right? and they're coming in through an electric socket by my kitchen I mean, in my kitchen or whatever right so i found this little one here but I honestly don't think that that's the one either because I don't see no activity right here. I'm going to treat this one too. But when I come over here, look what I found. Look at that. All these ants right here. This is where they're coming into my house at. So I'm going to have to treat right here. I'm about to go get the um cash, please. I'm about to go get the um so not the ant bait it's like um it kills the mound so i'm about to go get that and treat the ant mound all of them that i see out here and that'll get rid of them so i'm gonna show you what i use i've shown y'all before but in case you didn't see that vlog because it was a long fat you cannot kiss her we don't want you getting sick oh i'm still zoomed in hold on Y'all start all up in my grill. But anyway, this is what I use to get rid of the ant mounds. Let me go treat these ant hills so I can see if I can get rid of these ants. Cause I only got a few more days till Thanksgiving and there is no way, like I keep saying it, <laughs> like there is no way I'm gonna have ants in my house on Thanksgiving. Like there's gonna be way too much food out. Like no, there's no way. And they're everywhere. They're like all over my counter, it's disgusting. I showed y'all in the last vlog. I ain't showing y'all again. <laughs> it's gross. And it's like creeping me out. Because in order, like in the ant bait that I'm using, in order for the ant bait to work, you have to leave it out and let the ants eat it to take it back to their colony in order to kill off the colony. But I don't want them here. Like I need them gone. So I'm gonna get i'm gonna if you can't treat it from the inside out treat it from the outside in so i'm gonna go outside and go kill these ants i, I like these
the next day it's sunday happy sunday y'all happy sunday that feels so funny for it's in fake because my sunday is going like crap already okay let's start with some good news on the positive side the ants are gone i checked this morning actually i checked last night too i got up in the middle of the night hold on let me let my dog in the house okay so i had checked hold on my screen is dirty I mean, my lens. Is that better? Oh, yeah, that's much. My head came downstairs last night to get something to drink. And when I looked over here, they were gone. <clears throat> then I came down here again this morning and I just looked and I just seen two ants crawling around. It's a couple of dead ones over here too. But that's how I know the stuff is working because they answered it. So that's the positive news. Okay, so y'all know Tiana had been sick since like Thursday night going into yesterday and yesterday she started feeling better and stuff like that so um we were supposed to go to my sister's house yesterday but I had talked to her and she was like well you know well we could just do it on Sunday after football da 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 so we were supposed to be going over there today and I was excited about going over there because y'all know Tanea's birthday party is going to be December 2nd and we're having her party here at the house. So we're not going to be putting up Christmas decorations until after Tanea's party because Christmas and birthday decorations up at the same time is going to be a little confusing and I don't, yeah, that's not the vibe that I'm going for. So anyway, she was like, well, we could put up my tree and we can decorate my tree together. So I was excited about going over there because I really wanted to help her decorate her tree because that's like my thing. I love Christmas and I have to wait. Like normally we would have been had my tree up, but we have to wait because of the party. So last night I'm laying in bed asleep. Fatty comes in the room and he says something to me and I turn around and I'm like, you what? And he goes, blah all over the floor so i'm like babe fatty's throwing up so i'm calling also because also also was still up he was downstairs playing the game so he comes downstairs he gets him up he cleans him up he cleans up the vomit he back uh not vacuum he shampoos the carpet where he threw up and stuff like that or whatever he goes in his room he lays down and he throws up again I don't, I don't even know where he got the second time when he threw up. I'm assuming that it's not on his bed because his sheets are still on his bed this morning. Like, also didn't change the sheets last night. So, I think he just threw up on his floor. I think he probably was going to get up to go to the bathroom and didn't make it. So, he threw up twice yesterday. So, I'm like, okay. It more than likely, but definitely is, something going around. Because with, with Tiana, I wasn't sure if it was like something that she ate. And I... I actually kind of feel like maybe it could have been something that fatty ate too because when he threw up i realized that he had pretty much only eaten hot fries yesterday and that was pretty much it he ate a slice of pizza but i don't know i was doing a lot of editing yesterday so i wasn't monitoring what he was eating like that and because of the ant situation i didn't cook dinner so we were eating leftovers and fast food and stuff like that or whatever so i didn't monitor like okay well what did you eat for breakfast what did you eat for lunch what did you eat for dinner i wasn't monitoring that close because like i was focused on other things which that's my fault but 
towards the end of the day, after he threw up, I thought back on what he ate that day. And the only thing that I could specifically remember him eating was hot fries and pizza. And when he threw up, it was most definitely all hot fries. So I'm like, that could have been it too. But at the same time, like, what's the likelihood that both of my kids threw up days apart because of something that they ate and not because of an illness? So... Now I'm going to have to call my sister and be like, yeah, we're probably going to have to cancel for today, which sucks. I'm going to let her know what happened and I'm going to let her decide like if she wants us to come over or not. But um, anyway, um, so today, the majority of the day, I'm going to be editing. I do have to finish my last vlog so I can get that up for y'all. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna be cleaning this kitchen up because the kitchen hasn't been cleaned properly since the ants. Let me take that back. I cleaned the kitchen once properly since I had the ant infestation because I thought I had gotten rid of them and then they came back. So it needs to be cleaned thoroughly again because since I had the ant bait out, I couldn't really wipe the wipe down the counters and stuff the way I, I need to. So I'm gonna be doing that today. So cleaning up doing laundry because there's a ton of laundry that needs to be done now and then also editing and then possibly going to my sister's house tonight and decorating a christmas tree fingers crossed i don't know i'm gonna talk to her and i'm gonna let her decide i want to see how fat he's doing once he wakes up if he's feeling like down like he physically feels sick then i'm just gonna cancel because I then I'll know for sure that it's not just something that he ate but that's the crazy thing like he was completely fine all day yesterday like the whole day he was completely fine he did not act like he was sick or anything it wasn't until after he had went to bed and laid down that he was like I don't know what he was saying I think he was trying to tell me that he felt like he needed to throw up so anyway all right let me go get to editing before the baby wakes up and I'll talk to y'all in a little bit next day today's monday <clears throat> as you can see i was doing all that crying for nothing because we ended up right at my sister's house <laughs> and i did get to decorate the tree so um so also and fatty ended up staying home because fatty was throwing up still yesterday and he never did get a fever but um yeah i, I just didn't feel like having him out somewhere where he was gonna be like uncomfortable and I definitely didn't want him to throw up at my sister's house because I ended up calling my sister and she was saying that um she was just like as long as he doesn't have a fever he should be okay so we were all still gonna go but then like he started throwing up again and he just like upstairs in his room the whole day which is really not like fatty so that's what I was like yeah it's probably not a good idea for him to go and then my husband was saying he had a lot of stuff that he wanted to get done around the house anyway so he was just like, well, I'll stay home with Fatty. 
And then y'all can just go and decorate the tree. Because he wasn't going to decorate the tree no one. So, anyway. That's what we did. It was fun. I was trying to be cute and bring them some popcorn and some hot chocolate and stuff like that. But it was from last year. And, uh, yeah. It was stale, obviously. Um, I thought it was going to be like, you know how you get the popcorn tins? And then, like, when you open up the tin, the popcorn is actually just, like, inside of a sealed bag. So that's what I thought it was, but then when I opened up the tin, it was actually just sitting in there. So I was like, yeah, this popcorn is bad. So we ended up throwing the popcorn away. Um, Tiana was the only kid there that actually liked the hot, well, that actually wanted the hot chocolate. And then I tasted it and it was gross to me. So I'm like, yeah, that was a bust. It was like the Starbucks hot chocolate, like the ones that you can buy as a gift set. And it came with like the mugs and stuff like that. It was one of those, so anyway um today's a work day so that's why i took a shower already but i just put on some pajamas because i'm not leaving the house so this is typically like how my mondays are i usually don't go anywhere if i do go anywhere it's to drop the kids off at school and i might have to run to the grocery store or something like that but this week they're off because of thanksgiving break but anyway, an update on Fatty. He is feeling much better. Like, by the time we came home last night, he was pretty much back to normal. Hold on, my exposure's too high. Let me fix that. Sorry, that's better. Um, so yeah, by the time we... Actually, while we were gone, I think he probably would have been okay if he had came with us because he didn't throw up anymore after we were gone. And then before we left, this dude got on the VR. I'm hearing all this noise. He yelling and stuff, and I'm just like... Like, what is he doing? This dude was upstairs on the VR. So I'm like, oh yeah, he's back to himself now. So, um, I had told him to get off the VR because the VR actually can make you feel nauseous. I don't know if y'all have ever actually gotten on one of them VR systems before, but they can actually make you feel nauseous. So, I told him, you know, not to play the VR until he's like back 100%. So he ended up getting off and everything. But still, I could tell that he was starting to feel better. And then um, he called me on video chat while I was at my sister's house and he was saying that he felt better and he had actually eaten. He ate twice yesterday and he was able to hold his food down. But um, yeah, I just wanted to be on the safe side. I didn't want to get nobody sick and I also didn't want um, him to be uncomfortable. And who knows, like, if he had gotten in a car, if he would have got car sick or anything like that. And I just really did not want him throwing up in my sister's house or feeling uncomfortable. So, he stayed at home with his dad, which is fun because, like I said, I also said he wanted to get some stuff done around the house anyway. So, anyway, welcome to another day of me looking a hot mess. So, the only thing I'm doing today is, hold on, I wash my hands. So the only thing I'm doing today is working in laundry because I have a ton of laundry to get done. Obviously, I have to wash Patty's bedding because he was sick. Um, I need to wash our bedding too just because and probably Tiana's too. I need, I need to wash everybody's bedding. Tiana's and ours, Patty. I need to wash bedding. I need to um get caught up on laundry because everybody's running out of stuff. So... We need to get caught. I need to get caught up from laundry. Let me not do it that way for my boob pop out because I don't have one bra. Just gonna be hanging out around the house. So I don't know how much vlogging I'm gonna do today because my day today is pretty boring. There's nothing that you guys are gonna want to see. I might I'm trying to think, should I cook today? By the way, this is a beautiful day from Bath and Body Works in case you were looking for like a clean scent and don't want to smell like florally or like sweet this is like a nice fresh clean scent it's called beautiful day i bought this a long time ago like literally years ago i gave it to my mom she claimed she liked it and then she gifted it back to me recently <laughs> so and the bottle was still new it was like this much gone so she didn't like it. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna be vlogging much today. So I'll probably, if I end up cooking dinner, which it's looking real iffy right now, but if I end up cooking dinner, I'll pick y'all back up for dinner tonight.
chocolates I shall make. I did all of that talking about. I don't have to go anywhere today. I don't have anything going on. I'm just working. I forgot I had a whole booking today. But thank God it was just tables and chairs and she came to pick it up. So I just got done doing that. Made me a couple of dollars and headed back to work. But I just had to like go throw on this sweater real quick. And it's hot outside, so I look crazy. But I had my pajamas on underneath here and I just didn't want to be like outside doing business in my pajamas. But anyway, all right, let me go wash my hands and then I'm getting back to work. Okay. Good morning. Today is Saturday, November 25th. Yeah, I know. It's been a while. Okay, so today is Saturday, November 25th. I am just now getting around to vlogging. <laughs> again the last time i seen y'all i think it was a tuesday before thanksgiving it is now the saturday after thanksgiving i got lost in the holidays y'all i did not vlog at all um we did host thanksgiving here at my house everything turned out good I didn't get any footage i usually would at least take pictures of my food or like take pictures with my family and stuff like that i, I didn't even do that i think i got one picture um yeah i got a picture of my cupcakes oh insert the picture of my cupcakes but that's literally it i didn't get a picture of any of my food um anyway i basically just came back on here so that i can update you guys um so now that we have thanksgiving out of the way we are officially going to start planning tania's first birthday because the party is going to be next week so that's what's happening in next week's vlog i did go christmas shopping yesterday you want some? She don't know how dare you eat some without me. This is the cranberry bar from Starbucks. I got this yesterday when I was out shopping. I just didn't eat it. It's pretty good. Let me taste it first. But anyway, we're going to start planning her birthday next week. We're going to start doing all the prep. So make sure you guys come back to watch that next week. I did do Christmas shopping. If you guys are interested in me doing a sit down video telling you guys what I got my kids for Christmas, leave a comment below letting me know because I am thinking about doing one this year. I thought about doing one like the last couple of years and I just never did. But I think I might go ahead and do one this year. So if you guys are interested, just let me know. I just wanted to come and close off the vlog because it, <laughs> it was just. Yeah, it was just left to sit out there, like, pretty much. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to come and close out the vlog. Say bye to you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next week when we plan today's first birthday party. Like damn, she and her man, she lit. Get money too. Like damn, she and her man. Like damn, she and her man.